store. We don't know of any major injuries. We can't say that there weren't minor injuries. You don't know for sure, only because we did see him bump into some civilians' cars. So there may be some minor injuries, but we don't know of any major injuries. There weren't any pedestrians hit that we know of. In the span of an hour, this, that this guy was traipsing around Los Angeles, smashing into cars, going the wrong way on roads, blowing through intersections, um, doing donuts in fields, right. almost flipping his car. And this is the first time. This is the first time we all went, I thought we were going to have a rollover here. And then you, could, uh, you saw him stop, because you could almost, almost blow a tire out doing that too, Rochelle. And then we saw the officers come up behind him and try to uh, attempt to take him down here. He stopped. You see him open the door, almost taunting officers as they as they approached him basically saying hey I guess I, you know, who knows what he was saying and uh, you know the officers trying to give him directions to go ahead and stop the car and they were they were attempting they almost had the felony stop pulled off here but as they started to get out and, and, and cover the car put pull their weapons on the car he decided he was gonna take off again and again we saw him in the 710 the 5 North back on the on the 10 freeway again went through the, the but one area on Whittier five almost six times we mm -hmm. saw him go across the uh, park, one parking lot, then double back. Here it is on the school. The second time around, he went through the parking lot of the school, going across the athletic field here at this school. Just, just unbelievable uh, things that he pulled off during this chase. But we see that we see the officers just going ahead and biding their time, and they did it. They, I think they did uh, one hell of a and, job. And it paid off. It paid off. They he did. was arrested basically after all of that without incident. This is the takedown when everything happened pretty much the way it was supposed to. Exactly. He came out without a weapon in his hand. And the officers um, were able to get their guy. Keep it here on Prime News. We'll have more after the break.